You should have received in the mail by now your copy of Discipleship and Generosity for Everyone. Over the next five weeks, we're going to explore together these areas of discipleship. Our minds, our time, our relationships, our experiences, and our giving. This week, we will begin by looking at our minds and how they are transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. I enjoyed Monvi just partly for the creativity that I was able to select pictures and it sort of nailed my personality. Since I was on the committee, I, I did Monvi a few times as we were testing it, but the primary one that kept coming up over and over again is Samson. And certainly, you know, Samson likes to go it alone, um, doesn't ask for help much, but then also Samson is kind of known as sort of stubborn and hard-headed, so the um, point to really listen to others was, was worthwhile. What I like about the Monvi program is it does suggest reading to you, and I, I do a lot of reading, that is geared towards your personality. And one of the books that Monvi suggested for me was Bill Hybels' Holy Discontent. And holy discontent was speaking to, you know, you know deep in your gut there's more. Um, how do you get more? You know, what, how do you feed that discontent, you know, that you know there's more that Jesus died to give you? I had a corporate career that spanned 20 years, and we went through a lot of leadership training, a lot of um, growth um, conferences. And by now I know my strengths and my weaknesses, but rarely do you get something that tells you what to do about your weaknesses. And I really like the inhibitor part of Monvi because, you know, I know I kind of come on strong, but Monvi gave me one of the, the few tips that I thought was very valuable. Find someone that I know and like, you know, from the church, ask them out to lunch, and just ask them all about the reasons they believe or support, you know, a, a party or a candidate um, that I don't. And the, here's the hard part, I'm not supposed to say a word. I'm supposed to stay silent and just hear and respond to their reasons in a positive way as to why they support a certain platform. You know, you don't always have time to take someone to lunch to hear opposing views, but that advice sticks even in a hallway conversation or, you know, a fellowship over coffee conversation that I might have here at church. So it's, it's been helpful.